Good Sunday morning. I'm here in Sangle, Texas, unloading at the Sam Clubs. I got, I found out that another, some more tornadoes hit Oklahoma yesterday evening. I came through Oklahoma. I 35 yesterday afternoon, yesterday evening. Now at 35, about 15 miles into Oklahoma, it's closed. A tornado ripped through that town. I think it's Artmore, Artmore, Oklahoma. The lady here at Walmart showed me a picture where the uh, Dollar Tree Distribution Center got towed up. Y'all pray for folks in the Midwest. Them tornadoes is breaking out everywhere across the across the plains. Destruction is everywhere. Tornadoes. Man, feel sorry for people. We need to save all our money. No more money for Ukraine. Save all the money for United States citizens. We don't we don't gave Ukraine billions and billions and billions and billions of dollars just to throw away over war. I mean, I don't have no problem with Ukraine, you know, but the United States have our we had our own problems. People need help, people need that money. Natural disasters, destruction is all around them. People need that money. Stop with all the red taping. When people need assistance, stop putting up all the roadblocks to make it hard on working folk, poor people. But I want to uh, talk about LTL drivers sabotaging equipment. LTL truck driver sabotaging equipment. Yeah, they've been doing it. They do it. And the reason why they do it, greed. Greed. I got my information from very direct source that told me about it, what they doing. I know they've been doing it. I always have heard they do it. They do it because of greed. They would sabotage a truck just to sit on the side of the road for about eight, seven, eight hours to get that breakdown pay. And while a lot of them LTL companies keep going belly up, they losing so much money. They losing tons and tons of money. People stealing. Payroll. They break down their attention to sabotage trucks, break down the side of the road just so they can get breakdown pay. They already make good money. They already make good good. Greed. Greed is a bad, bad thing. People do all, mostly all crime, like the Bible say, for the love of money is the root of all evil. For the love of money is the root of all evil. 95% of the crime that go on
is the result of money. Greed. Now we're dealing with cyber crimes. People being scammed. I just saw something where a lady was scammed out of $1.5 million or something. I guess she inherited some money. They said she was a widow, but she just committed suicide by drowning herself. I guess she might have drove into a lake or something. Could you imagine? One day you got over a million dollars in the bank, then the next day you ain't got nothing? You bone broke? Not even five hundred dollars to your name. One day you got a million dollars in the bank, next day you ain't got nothing. Could you imagine how that must feel? I heard about people going to the casinos, gambling their houses away, gambling their property away on a card game on a one hand. A lot of celebrities are in gambling debts. Bruno Mars, I just heard. In the hole. Gambling. Gambling. A lot of people have lost their property in a home due to gambling. Online bidding and all that stuff. That's why online bidding and stuff is so popular now. Man. Over a car game. People would bet a whole house. Put, people would put their whole house on the line for a car game for a car. Blackjack. People make a make a living off of scamming people. With that Abram Malt that went to prison about eight, nine years ago, he scammed a lot of people. He scammed a lot of folk. They finally caught up with him though. They finally got him. Scammer, cyber scam. Greed is everywhere. Bank rob, armor car heist, man. For the love of money, is the root of all evil. People thrive off of. Greed. Never satisfied. Got to get it. No matter how. Got to get it. Got to get that money. Not satisfied. You know, it's nothing wrong with wanting a little bit more, a little, anybody, everybody can use a little bit more, but it, working class people, I ain't gonna say, you know, but I look at the art, Jay-Z and Beyonce, them. They feel they rich and still unhappy. Look at what happened at the Grammy Award. Jay-Z mad because his wife ain't get, hasn't got all the awards yet. Greed. When does it ever stop? People go to their grave, die, still trying to earn money. Buffett, all them people. Their life is consumed with earning money. Making more money. More and more money. Investing. Doing this. Investing. 
actually, the Bible speaks against all that. <laughs> People don't want to talk about that. The Bible speaks against it. Don't store up treasure. In earth, but store up heavenly treasures. Don't think about tomorrow. Tomorrow take care of itself. Don't take no thought about it. We not supposed society in life that we live have forced us to kind of have to work, save, pay bills, such such. But really, it's not supposed to be. You're supposed to just, we, we are supposed to just be born, live off the land, whatnot, everybody live in peace and harmony, and multiply. I understand we live the life we live in, what society we live in. We have to live according to the world. But we still don't have to be greedy. We still don't have to be greedy. Greedy greed consume your life. You don't people some people that walk go through life, they don't think about nothing but money. Already successful. Look at a lot of people in the world already successful, billionaires, millionaires. You they'll never spend all that money. But their life is consumed with getting more and more, more and more, more and more, more and more. And in a second, you could be gone. A heart attack can take you out in a minute. A stroke can kill you. Truck drivers doing it. Sabotaging equipment. They are already clearing about fifteen, seventeen, eighteen hundred dollars a week. They trying to pad their checks on top of getting bonuses. Breakdown pay. I get breakdown pay. Stuff like that. But I'm not sabotaging no equipment. I'm not hellish. I don't do stuff like that. They're stealing. I know a lot of people that drive trucks. I know a lot of people that drive LTL. It's stealing. Bottom line, it's stealing. They pay you to do a job. And what and what are they doing? To show appreciate stealing from the man. Costing them money. Sabotage the truck. They got to pay you. And then they got to pay the tow company to tow the truck in. On top of that freight late. A lot of they were they were, done drove a lot of companies out of business. People on the inside stealing. Mismanagement. I'm glad I don't have that appetite to always be thinking about money. Stealing. You know, greed. It'll cost a lot of people, cost you to do a lot of things. People. Take out their own family members. Husband kill wife. Wife kill husband. We hear it all the time. I see it all the time. The wife shopping around for a hitman. The husband shopping around for a hitman. A lot of them get caught. Trying to off their spouses. For insurance papers. Then they'll come out. I was in a women, a lot of women. I was in a bad relationship. He treated me like trash. He beat on me, in it? 
But you were scheming trying to get that money. Offer me get that money. If it that bad, you'd be willing to just to walk away without nothing. Some women have it bad. In relationship, some men have it bad. Parents kill their own kids. Money reasons. Parents sell their kids. That stuff been going on in the church for years. Parents selling their daughters. It used to be the men back in the day would mess with boys. They would always go out to little girl. Old, a lot of my old preachers that dead and gone now in the countries and stuff. They had a knack of messing with girls. They loved some girls. They loved women. They would sleep with women would pimp their daughters out to the preachers, to the pastors. That stuff was going on in Memphis. Plenty of stories. Pastors were well known for sleeping with women, women daughters, and their moms. Long they could pay a light bill or something. All they did is something pay a light bill, pay a car note. They'll give them their daughter, give them their self. Greed. They have a grip on the world. I see an armor car somewhere making delivery of pit. I don't know. Nope. I ain't got no thoughts of doing anything. I go in the bank. I ain't trying to rob nobody. I don't have plenty of opportunities. Like the devil, you know, a God trying. I've been in out of I've been in stores, supermarkets. White women are bad about this. White women are bad, are bad about turning their heads, leaving their purses and stuff wide open. I see it all the time. I have told people, I have told women, man, watch your purse. They be like, oh, oh okay, thank you. Purse, they had them big old bags in the shopping cart and they'll be held their head buried down in the freezer section somewhere looking at stuff. You don't walk by, they never saw you coming. Purse wide open. They had a big old bag and you can see their purse. A lot of women carry big bags then they have a purse in the bag. Wide open. It's already hard on black men, you know, everywhere you go. I try to tell them, man, watch your purse. But don't you know where you at? It's like they don't care. They still go to the cities and leave electronics and stuff right in the open in their car. Won't put it in the trunk. Won't put nothing away. Try to do that. They want to try to do nothing to hide these stuff. They just leave it in the open. People don't care. I had plenty of opportunity to snatch a purse. Maybe it would sometimes be the devil trying. Sometimes it could be the Lord. But the best lot, don't touch it. Leave it alone. They could be the test from the Lord. The devil in it's probably for the devil. The Lord be allowing the devil to test you. Then he can be testing you. Your honesty. I have plenty of opportunity. My wife will tell you, we go through the supermarket all the time. White women are bad about that. You walk right by and they never saw you come. They don't look around. They don't watch their surroundings. I see them crossing the streets. Soon as the light turn green, they don't look around see if anything coming or nothing. A lot of people do that, but I'm just saying, it seems like to me, white people are more subject to not really paying attention to what's going on. 
I was sitting in an intersection in, in Denver, Colorado one time. A guy was standing at the at the crosswalk. Soon as that light turned for him to walk, he didn't even look around. He just took off and started walking. And a car was coming up the lane that was closest to him. Yeah, take off and start walking. You know how quick cars are still come out of nowhere? Crossing the streets and highway, you got to be looking. Every second, looking, processing what's going on, looking. I had plenty of opportunities to snatch some money. God, I just, I just not that type of person. Greed. A lot of people take that opportunity. Some of them get away. A lot of them don't. Rob the casinos. When, when those casinos moved to Tunica, Mississippi area, they were getting robbed left and right. Some guys went down there and robbed Al Capri down there in Lula, Mississippi. They got away with it. The first time, they went back. Done it again. Not too long after. I think about a year or two, they got caught. Now, you got to pay for all it. <laughs> Greed. I watch them stories. People get sprung on robbing. Women and men get sprung on robbing banks and stuff. You get, it, it, you get addicted. Almost anything you do in life can become addictive. People get addicted to honestly making money. Yeah. They get addicted to always learning, going to school, getting this degree, getting that degree, getting this degree. They get addicted to learning. Everything, everything is suddenly be, become addiction. Yeah, if you're not careful for anything, become addiction. Can't enjoy life. Always learning. Always trying. You already got all, you well educated. Life was never meant to be like it is. God put us on the earth just to enjoy and sit back with the world, the prince of the world. I'm not against education. I'm not against living. I like living in the world where we got. But look at the way it came about. A lot of Native Americans were slaughtered. Good old white people don't want to talk about that. Everybody else out the devil. If they do anything to America. Come over here, you need to learn how to speak English. You need American life. You know, this is our country. This is a, but, you know, Native, Native Americans all across the United, all across the country was slaughtered and placed on reservations. The ones that gave up, they were forced to give up and put on reservations. We'll never forget September 11. They come over here and attack us on our land. We'll never. But what was done to the natives? They don't want to talk about that. Greed. Greed. 